hey guys welcome back to my channel it's Mara david here and today i am back again with another video if this is your first time for joining my channel you're welcome to my channel don't forget to like subscribe and share this video if you find it very helpful guys today i'm sharing a different recipe a different thing i've not actually shared my channel before i just thought about doing this video last nice okay so i was like let me just make this video for you guys this is a different topic i've not actually said on my channel before as you can see the topic is about menstrual cramps tea how to make your own menstrual cramps tea at home okay so this topic i feel like a lot of females that watch my channel are going to benefit from this video okay and also i have more females than males that watch my channel so if you are a male watching this video right now you can as well still watch or share it to your friends your female friends your wife your sister your girlfriends that will benefit from this video so guys i'm going to share be showing you or showing you how to make a menstrual cramps tea how i make my own menstrual cramps tea at home okay menstrual cramps can be so really really annoying especially when you get to the particular time of the month that is just so annoying and sometimes that it's so strong that sometimes that you can actually manage it but there's some period that you can't even manage it at all this is at the time you are going to use this tea even when you can manage it or not you have to use this tea because this tea has really really helped me and i feel like i should share it for you guys okay so that you guys can enjoy and also use it okay so first of all before i show you guys the recipe if you know you you always have strong menstrual cramps, strong ones that you won't be able to leave the house, you won't be able to do anything, you'll just be weak at home. I'll tell you some things you are you're going to do or to avoid once you once it starts, okay? So one thing I feel you should avoid is you should stop taking sugar. Sugar can actually worsen the case, can make the pain to be extraordinary much okay so once you when, once you know that you're getting nearer to that particular time all you need to do is stop taking sugar stop taking sugary drinks like coke fanta all those sugar sugar things okay just stop it already stop taking it is really really going to help you so when it gets to that stage all you need to do is exercise a lot don't just stay one place always move around when you stay one place it's going to make the pain worse and it's going to make it so worse so don't stay one place, exercise a lot, move around. Once the pains are started, just move around. Don't stay one place, okay? Another thing you need to do is to get to do is to get a hot towel that you should put on your lower abdomen or your lower back. Hot towel. Not so hot that it's gonna burn your skin. But once you put the towel into a hot water or kind of hot water that you can dip your hand inside. When you squeeze it, but not really squeeze it, squeeze out the water, just put it place it on your lower abdomen or your back pain you can place it lower abdomen and back depends on how strong your menstrual cramp is giving you so you're going to put it lower abdomen it's really going to work and once it's getting cold the pain might increase then you do it all over again till you're relieved okay another thing you need to do is to take your hot bath hot bath really really helps with the pain as well when you take hot bath it really helps it really helps the pain to relieve you a lot so don't take cold baths always take hot baths i'm the kind of person that don't even really have strong menstrual cramps like that but once there's some times of the year that it just gives me that strong ones and i know what to do about it so i try and do all these things and it really really helps me and i use the tea along with it guys i'm going to show you how the tea looks like this is how the tea looks like if you look down the tea you will see some particles inside yes those are the things i mixed to get i'm going to show you guys how to make this tea right now so that you can enjoy the video so guys let's make the tea First off, I'll be adding hibiscus flower. I popularly know that zobo zobo leaf in Nigeria, so you can get this anywhere around. From especially all those um, I would say people on the road, you can get it very cheap there. Okay, I got mine for I got a large quantity for about hundred naira or so. So I rinsed the hibiscus flower and kept inside this plastic transparent cup. I'm using the transparent cup so that you guys can see it and see what I'm adding inside. The second thing I added is ginger. I use a little bit of ginger. Ginger, you can actually grate your ginger or you can slice your ginger and add it to it. But I grated mine. That is why 
it was like that the third thing i added that is like green leaf it was mint leaf you can use mint leaf or if you don't have mint leaf you can use tint leaf any leaf any of the two works perfectly well so i added hot water inside the mixture so i'm going to wait for it to after stirring okay i'm going to wait for it to stay for about um 10 to 5 minutes until it's cool so i can take my tea so yeah you can take this tea in the morning at night especially when it's warm okay So guys, I love the taste of this tea. I'm like, I'm used to the taste of the tea already. Well, the first time I tasted this tea was, you know, it's not sweet, it's not bitter, it's not um sour, it's not, how would I put it? It's just that it has this natural, organic taste. Like, you know when you're taking something that doesn't even really have much taste like that, but it's just there, it's not bitter. That's exactly how this tea feels like. I take it when it's warm, not too hot. It depends on how you can take your tea. If you're the kind of person that likes, but don't take it cold. When you take it cold, it might not really do the work like that. So take it either warm or hot. It depends on how you take your tea, okay? Make sure it's not so hot as if to burn your tongue. That's not the work you're trying to make the tea do. You're trying to make it to burn the pains that you feel, okay? So how you take this tea is, in the morning when you wake up you take the tea you drink the tea in the morning it shows you can have this tea. this tea is something readily you can just have at home anywhere anyhow you can just make it in less than two seconds so guys that is how the tea is made you can see how easy it is you can see how easy the tea is made okay so when you find this if you find this video helpful don't forget to give the video a huge thumbs up comment just guys when you like my videos when you comment my down my videos when you share my videos it really really helps my video it really really helps other people that are interested in this content to see the video so it really really helps me it's like giving me a thumbs up and you are like let other people to enjoy it okay so don't forget to do all that subscribe if you have not yet subscribed and i'll see you guys in my next video bye